All right, this is my Zimbabwe presentation. For each category, I'll be giving two examples. Uh, here are the facts, as you can see. very hot and humid. I probably should have played desert. But it's very hot and humid in Zimbabwe. What's the literacy rate? The literacy rate? You can see it. Can, can you see? No. It's not there. Oh. It's not there. <laughs> Did I? No. Yeah, no. I accidentally deleted it. Anyways, next slide, please. <laughs> Land forms. Alright. Here is the Mingabusa Busa. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> and as you can see, it is very beautiful. It has hills, and it's a plateau because it goes down into kind of like a canyon kind of thing. Next. Um, here is Victoria Falls. Those two look very similar, <coughs> similar, but uh, Victoria Falls kind of falls deep, and then it goes into like a snake shape. Or valley. What do you mean? Ravine. All right, next. Cities. Uh, the capital is Harari, and uh, <laughs> and uh, it is definitely the richest of all the cities. Um, and another major city is Bupain, and they actually have a very nice city compared to the rest of Zimbabwe. Um, next slide. Another thing is the lakes. These are also very important to their being. And as you can see, next slide please. Um, the Zambezi is another, or sorry, is a major lake. And it starts kind of near, or it doesn't start, but it's near a very dry wasteland, and it kind of helps fertilize everything around this region and area. Next slide, please. You call this a lake? <laughs> it's a lake? Yeah, it's a lake. It's a long lake. It's not a river? No, it's a lake. <laughs> Are you sure? It's a hundred percent. When I Googled it, it said it was a lake. That's I a river. River. Google says it's a lake. Is that a lake? The Limpa River, or, sorry, lake. Um. <laughs> oh, this is. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of like a snake shape, like all the other ma major landforms and things in Zimbabwe. Big S shape. Next. The rivers. Oh. 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 No. oh. Problems. Next slide. All right, freedom of expression and assembly. They can't really express themselves. They're not really, um, <coughs> they're not really, mine, mine, mine's blanking, doing, it, doing it now in a presentation, but they can't really express what they're trying to do, and they don't have much freedom of speech in Zimbabwe. Next slide. And they don't have health care. Uh, they need health care to help people, especially in the country with a lot of sickness and a lot of major health issues. Next slide. Food. All right, here. They have something called sadasa, and they have meat, um, noodles, and vegetables everywhere. Next slide. And they also eat mocaine worms. Pretty much, put it in a pot, put, mush it up with like fruits and vegetables, or just vegetables and herbs. Next slide. And that's it.